Django. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is day three of our March Madness tour. We have got one single video every single day throughout March 2019. Today's video, we have got an interview with George from JP Exotics. You might want to watch right to the end. This does get interesting. But before we start, can you please hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell next to it, just so you know next time I do upload a video. What's your name? George. How old are you? 21. Where are you from? Uh, oh, okay, I think London. <laughs> no, you're not. What was your first pet? Hamster, which I put in the microwave number six. <laughs> did it taste nice? <laughs> no, it popped. <laughs> what sound did it make? It squeaked. I felt really bad afterwards. <laughs> what was your first exotic pet? A leopard gecko. What got you into the hobby? Oh, good old David Attenborough and Paul. I mean, um, just see factual. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm having the Ben Buffer. Um, the Ben Buffer. <laughs> the Ben Buffer. What do you think came first? It's the chick. Your mum. It's the chick. Your mum. The egg. The chicken. How? Because two chickens fucked and another one came out. Wait, no, egg. Yeah, egg. But how did the egg get there? The theory of evolution. Yeah, the theory of evolution. But what did the egg evolve from? The dinosaur. Evolution. Mm -hmm. But what did the dinosaur evolve from? And the <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, Richard. <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg. egg Why? Uh, because dinosaurs laid eggs, and before dinosaurs, it was like amphibians and stuff like that. I watched my doctor. So a dinosaur movies. laid an egg, and randomly a chicken popped out. No, evolution. Hey, I didn't. Yeah, you didn't question it. <laughs> Time machine outside. Where would you go? Uh, I'd go back to work three days ago, and I wouldn't spend. Money, so I could take my money to the show. No, I'd probably travel back in time and prevent Ben's conceivement. What can't you live without? Water and my dog. Have you got an STD on your arm? That's why you keep scratching. For fuck's sake, Richard, that's for private matters only. <laughs> what hidden talents have you got? A massive slog. Zombie apocalypse, where would you go? Uh, probably... Peter sheds, steal a berm, grab my dogs and fuck off to Ireland. Bottom drawer. <laughs> in the rug. I'll be in there with your fucking retic, mate. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill, he'll fucking choke me out like he choked Richard. <laughs> end, it, mate. end it quickly. <laughs> 24 hours yeah. left on earth, where would you go? Um, pop Tesco's, grab some canned food, grab my dog, grab a car and I'd fuck off to Cornwall. Hey, don't really go in there. Wait, no, it's not fucking zombie apocalypse, is it? Because I'm 24 gonna die. Right, no, gonna I'd, die. Um, I'd just shoot myself. I just can't be off to wait a long 24 hours. Would you like a hand with that? <laughs> Superpower, what is it? My stammer. Django! Copyrighted. Can't take use that. What's the best pickup line you've ever used? Do you want to see my cock? Has it worked? Actually, actually, yeah, my ex loved it. And where's the weirdest place you've ever woke up? In my ex's bed. Well, no, on the bench, actually, outside. Outside the house? No, outside, just in the park. Uh, what are your pet hates in the hobby? Uh, um, people who keep animals in ropes. <sighs> I bit myself. I did it myself, I have like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be? Oh, invisibility. So as you can tell, that was quite a fun interview. Let's get on to some outtakes. What can't you live without? This is a bit sentimental. My dog. I like my oh. dog. Actually, no, I probably could. My phone. <laughs> I need my phone for porn. <laughs> What's your first pet? Max Haig. Where did you pick up that pair? Outside Tesco. Time machine outside, where would you go? Back to my day of conceivement and put a condom up on my bed so I wasn't born. <laughs> where would you go on a zombie apocalypse? Uh, Hastings, because no fucking zombies are going there. <laughs> 
Well, guys, I hope you did enjoy that interview. I certainly did. If you want to see more content, we're uploading every single day throughout March 2019, 8 p.m. every day. Tune in.